Hi, Texas middle school readers. I'm Jordan Sonnenblick. I'm the author of Curveball, The Year I Lost My Grip, and also Falling Over Sideways. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the background of each of those books, which are on the uh, Spirit of Texas list for next year, which uh, thank you very much. That's a huge honor. I also, before I forget, I want to give a shout out to Houston ISD and uh, especially Crockett Elementary School. If anyone somehow from Crockett happens to see this, uh, that was where I got my start as a teacher. So uh, hi, HISD and hi, Crockett. Anyway, I wrote Curveball because when my grandfather died back in 2008, he left me uh, an antique camera, which he had bought new. Uh, this is actually the camera he bought. Uh, it's, it's called a, a Ciroflex uh, camera. It's from 1947. Uh, this, was, this was like top technology back in 1947. Um, and it's a very interesting camera. You look down into it. So you'd wear it like this and you'd look down into the camera um, and you'd shoot with it at your waist. You'd focus it from over here. Uh, you'd adjust it from knobs that are covered up by this leather case that was, again, top notch back in its day. Um, and th that's how photographers would take pictures back then. And my grandfather left me this camera when he died, and I didn't know anything about photography. And I thought, wouldn't it be a cool thing uh, as a way of getting close to my grandfather kind of retroactively um, as a testament to him if I learned how to shoot photography well enough that I could eventually use his camera. And so I spent about um, four months learning how to be a really good amateur photographer. I went out and bought uh, thousands of dollars worth of digital photography equipment and learned how to be a modern digital photographer. And then I went back and got my grandfather's camera fixed up and refurbished and learned how to shoot photography. On uh, the process of doing that, I got very interested in sports photography and shooting my son's middle school sports. And out of the process of shooting middle school sports and watching kids on my son's baseball teams get injured, um, I came up with the plot of curveball. So it's partly a remembrance of my grandfather and, and thinking about him and photography and what it was like to watch him slowly lose his abilities because my grandfather did die of Alzheimer's disease, which plays a big part in the book. And partly it was watching my son's friends who were middle school athletes get injured uh, that played the other half of the plot in this book. So it's a combination of what was going on with my grandfather and what was going on in my son's life. So that was Curveball. And then Falling Over Sideways... Uh, was inspired by my daughter when she was in the eighth grade. And um, I'll tell you one little story about this that my daughter doesn't remember. Well, actually, she does remember, but I remember it much better because she was a little kid. Much of what happens in Falling Over Sideways comes directly from my daughter's life, especially the things that happen when the main character is a little kid. So when my daughter was little, when my son was little too, uh, I used to make up funny little songs uh, to keep them entertained when we were doing things they didn't want to do. So one thing that my daughter hated uh, was getting her face wiped. Like if, if she ate and her face was messy, you know, there'd be food everywhere. She didn't like it if we wiped her face. Uh, so I made up this song that's actually in the, the book, Falling Over Sideways. The girl, the eighth grade girl, remembers her dad singing it to her. Uh, it's to the tune of a song called America from a play called West Side Story. Um, and... I actually used to sing this song to my daughter all the time with my own words. Uh, with This is an actual wiping cloth from when, when my daughter was a little kid. Uh, and the song went, this is the world premiere. I've never sung this to anyone outside of my family. It went, I like to use a the wiping cloth. I like to use it to wipe me off. I like to use a the wiping cloth. I like to use it to wipe me off. And then I would come in and like wipe her face and she'd scream and yell. And, you know, that was kind of how I would get my daughter's face clean. So, uh. Now, if you ever Google the song America uh, from West Side Story and listen to the melody, you can picture the horrible singing of author Jordan Sonnenblick torturing you. But anyway, so Curveball is really about me and my grandfather and Falling Over Sideways is really about me and my daughter. So anyway, shout out to Texas. Thanks again for reading my books and take care.